the deal. I needed a new battery for the Overland Bound rig. You can see this one is, is old, is a good one, and it has served me well, but it has been not charging and failing. So it's well time to get a new battery. At first I went with the Optima Yellow Top, and then I asked the community, hey, what do you think of this battery? And there were too many instances of the battery failing. So, I mean, there were too many accounts within the Overland Bound community for me to ignore them. So I went and I did the swap and people recommended the North Star 2X Power battery. You can see those stats, good stuff. And you know, it's a dual purpose deep cycle battery and literally not one complaint um, within the community of failure and it was highly recommended. So I'm gonna give it a try. And it also comes with a five year warranty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that, that says a lot to me. So it's, a, it's a, a pure lead battery and I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you know how it goes. Now while I'm in here, I'm also gonna clean up some of this stuff. I'm gonna pull this rod off. I'm gonna clean it off and repaint it and just do a little bit of, uh, do a little engine bay maintenance at the same time. Okay, so first things first, gotta remove these holders here, these, these nuts for the holders. I've already loosened them up. And that holds, of course, holds the battery in place, but that's the part that I'm gonna clean up. And then, once I got the, the tray really cleaned off, then I'll put the battery back in. But first I'm gonna get this whole, this whole thing. Okay, whenever you're doing any battery work or you're doing any work on your electrical system, you take the negative off first. If your system is grounded, that's when the dangerous stuff happens. So the negative terminal is the first to come off and it's the last to go on. The old and the new sitting there side by side. All right, now look. This isn't a piece of art. I'm not going for, going for great here. I just want to stop the rust clean it off a little bit, make it look nice. So I'm scraping it like that. I'm gonna go wash it with soap and water. Then I'm gonna hit it with some rust stopping metal primer. All right, going with Rust-Oleum Satin. And it's cold, so I'm probably gonna get some orange peel and stuff like that, but it'll do the job. That's it, that's all I'm doing. I don't need drips or marks or anything like that. I want this to dry just like that. Now I'm gonna put a bag over my distributor and I'm not gonna do a good job. I'm just gonna kinda get it grossly in there because all I wanna do is keep my distributor kinda dry because I'm gonna hose off the engine bay. And if you guys saw that video where I dove through mud, which is why the underside here is so uh, muddy, one of the lessons I learned is you can't have water going into your distributor. Now, you might think that's a fairly plain old lesson, right? And you'd be right. But the thing is, I just assumed the thing would be sealed. That makes me really happy.
right. Not bad, right? We have a clean battery compartment ready for a new battery. Corey just yelled out the back door, keep your blood sugar up. So I found this in the camping kit. Do you think I heated it up? Okay, super easy to put that thing in. With that simple handle, it just dropped right in there. Some of the batteries, they have it off to the side and then you gotta push it in and then take it out and push it in, take it out. This one just has a simple handle on the top. Works great. Note, I've kept my caps on until I'm ready to do the actual install. I'm gonna go get that secure bar that I painted up. Okay, I'm doing one other little project here while I'm at it. Um, I'm not gonna make a whole video over installing a horn, but while I'm under here, I'm gonna do a horn. I don't know if you guys know these FJ80s that's stock horn, but they go ooh, ooh. And so I'm just making a little improvement. All right, these U brackets are a little bit, little bit tricky on here. There you go, brother. You're in. There's my negative side. We're gonna put that on last. Here's my positive side. It's got the goop on it, but hey, a good measure. Here we go. A good measure. Oh yeah. Oh, take the plastic thing off first because it makes it a heck of a lot easier. It really does. It really does. Also works better once you get it installed. All right, there we have it. All installed. And nice clean battery bay. We got our horn on this side. So I think I think it's about time to try this thing out. All right, success, we've got our battery in. Uh, pretty simple, battery installation, right? Uh, you'll note though, what I did was I tried to do a few more things in the same area to improve and clean those things as well. That way, the rig's just getting better even if I am just doing a battery install. We'll keep an eye on the battery, see how it goes. Um, we are also on Instagram if you want to follow us along day to day. I'll often take pictures and tell you how it's going. We're also on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page and on the web at overlandbound.com. We've got an entire archive and of course the forum community there to answer your questions. So basically, Overland Bound, anywhere. Check us out. We'll see you guys soon.